On today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to do a quick showcase video and highlight CoinOps Legends 3 available for the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, this image can run on a Pi 3B+, but there will be some issues with slowdowns, etc. If you're going to use this image, highly recommend you use a Raspberry Pi 4. This image does support 16.9 and 4x3 resolutions. There's several different playlists, but there's also several different themes. I like the fact that you have the cabinet theme with the traditional arcade with the wheel. You have just the wheel theme, which, you know, this will kind of show you what the game's going to look like on your monitor, coupled with the wheel. You have the marquee theme, which has the traditional coin ops cabinet, but with just the marquees as you navigate up and down and select games. And here's the default theme that the image will launch with the Legends theme. For the rest of the video, I'm going to be showing off the Legends theme because this is the CoinOps Legends 3 build. This build has about 705 games, over 600 arcade, and about 100 console games all mixed in. So it's a curated collection, and it's about 36 gigabytes. So using a 64 gigabyte micro SD card in your Raspberry Pi 4 is all you're going to need, especially if you want to add more games yourself. Taking a look here, you'll notice you have all your traditional uh, playlists, fight, fighting games, running gunners, shoot 'em ups, etc. As you navigate up and down from the Legends menu, racing games, sports games, all your favorite kind of playlists and everything curated and put in its proper place, puzzle games, etc. Nice little breakdown here done by the CoinOps folks, even got your console section. There are some Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast games on this particular build. I think the CoinOps team did a great job here using bezels uh, overlaid on top of your screen to kind of highlight what these games looked like in their original arcade form factor. So there's a lot of traditional arcade bezels on this build, which I really, really like. Whether you're playing a vertical game or a horizontal game, the presentation is stellar in my opinion. I think they did a great job here. Again, on the appearance of these games adds to more enjoyment when you're checking these retro games out. There's plenty of builds out there, CoinOps, Batacera, all that kinds of stuff, you know, that you can get your hands on. And a lot of times, some of these builds get pretty massive. You know, I've seen terabyte builds, two terabyte builds. And in all honesty, sometimes less is more. Sometimes you just want, you know, five, six hundred, seven hundred, like this build of your favorite games. Easier to find the games you really want to play, that you're interested in playing and also maybe finding some new stuff to play as well. Obviously, the games chosen are very popular titles. There's several Nintendo 64 games and Dreamcast games again on this build, and they do run very well on the Raspberry Pi 4, at least the games they chose to include in this build. Testing those games out, I really didn't notice any issues, especially when checking out the Nintendo 64 games, as well as the Dreamcast games. Games like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, NFL Blitz, they got the Dreamcast versions on here, and the games run really, really well. No complaints. Now, you can't find this build on the Backups website as well as on the Arcade Punks websites, but I do not share direct links to the downloads. This video is for educational purposes only. So, as always, guys, I don't share direct links. Don't even ask for them, but you can just go to those websites or Google search it and you'll find it. CoinOps Legends 3 Raspberry Pi 4. Overall, I think this is a really good build done by a really good team. I think the folks over there at CoinOps did a great job putting this together. It's sometimes nice to have these smaller curated collections, and it is nice to have a collection like this to put on the Raspberry Pi 4 in case if I don't feel like playing on my PC, etc. And another advantage to the Raspberry Pi 4, I can easily connect to some of my home arcade machines and get this up and running on those devices as well. That way you could have an arcade type experience. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to show off all 700 some games included. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick showcase video and uh, leave me your thoughts, feedback, reactions below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.
Thank <laughs> you. 